Hey, Carol, professional IKEA hacker here today with a number one hacking tip for Algot. I make Algot part of my every single closet project just because it fills the niche. So we've got on that side in there, we've got packs, floor to ceiling, wall to wall. There's an area left over that's gonna get filled with Algot and it's a really, that end looks really, really nice. It's even got built-in lights. I use the pack slides into the algo section. I'll probably record another video just to show you. Here's a tip. So you want to take advantage of the algo capacity, right? I buy the perforated steel shelving. Everything is steel. I, um, you can get up to like 100 pounds. At least you check the rating. Okay, that's probably a very safe rating. We can fit probably a couple of hundred pounds in this, uh, into, this, uh, into this closet. But how do we make sure that it carries safely? Question comes up, what are the length of screws do I use? Most likely, you're going into drywall. And if you want low bearing capacity, you know that nothing goes into drywall. You can't hang things off the drywall. So how do you, how do you, and you know, so how do you prepare the, the back wall, A, in a way that's not fussy, that's easy and intuitive and strong, and B, how do I make it look nice? How do, you know, the inside of the closet can also look like a million dollars, can, you know, can speak quality. So what I do is you can see in the back, I've installed these strips of nice plywood. So in the shop, I prepare myself, you can go half inch, that's what I did, Baltic bird sanded, I rounded over the edge, it looks professional. That way, you know, everything, all the little details, they do count. And you know what I'm gonna do? I will use an adhesive. I should record a video. I should record a video of why I love adhesives when I'm hacking. Whether I'm hacking packs, putting in algo. PL500 is my best friend. That's the one product I use. And the other product I use is silicone. These two make the project. The, adhe the use of adhesives will make this project last a long time. They actually have two, I use them in, um, for two purposes. Uh, in this instance, I recommend PL. So this is what I'll do. I will, all I will do is I'll just grab this board and I'm gonna apply, just squeeze on some PL. You know, I'll show you a couple of nice beads all along. This plywood, once screwed to the studs, will carry the load across its entire length. And that's what I want. I want that strength. So even if you put something that's very narrow, wide, whatever, it will work. That it's a load bearing strip in four places. That's basically all you need. So what I'll do, is I'm gonna grab my level. I'm gonna go in here. I got a line laid out and I'm just gonna nail it. I space it out nicely. I keep a little bit off the wall on this side. The wall could be uneven. You wanna kind of visually keep the same distance. That's what I do. I'm gonna put in my level. You should always have a nice set of levels, I think. One, two, three, four, they're all there. This strip will now go on and I can position it. You know what the greatest advantage is? Is that I can position it anywhere along this. We'll, we will have shelving on one side and then on the other side, these little cute baskets. They're four bucks a piece and they hang off a single strip. So you don't need to have two, just a single one. Great storage, I love it. Algot is the way. This is the number one easiest way, safe and secure to install this piece. Just follow this and you know what? You can run it along the wall, you can run it any length that you need and you can adjust these left to right without thinking. And you just drop a number eight screw, inch and a quarter, nice aggressive thread, and it goes in and it's stable. 3,000 pounds, easy. Ciao.